Hi everyone, are you looking for a magical solution to streamline your learning design process, enhance your teaching and engage with your students more effectively? Well, today we're looking at Magic School AI, your new AI powered teaching assistant. My name's Chris and we are Blade, dedicated to keeping you at the cutting edge of blended learning and digital education. Now, today's tool, Magic School AI, has a number of features within. So we're going to go through the process of signing up and then do a little dive into each of those features. And I'm sure there's something there for everyone, whether you're a school teacher or university educator. These tools look very valuable. So let's check them out. Okay, so the first thing you're going to see when you log in here is that there are a number of tools sitting in the background. I can see some of them, um, Science Lab Generator, YouTube video question generator. I think that particularly um, is one that interests me. Um, unit plan generator. Uh, there's a teacher joke generator, lesson plan generator, etc. But before we get access to the tools, we go through this quick guide. And it tells you here that the aim of Magic School is to support you and help you fight teacher burnout with artificial intelligence. Very important um, goal there, I think. So we're going to click on next. Um, it gives us uh, an overview of over 50 tools it says it has here. Um, let's try one of the tools. The rubric generator is a good idea. Okay, so it's going to step me through using one of these um, tools and I think it's going to populate the content for me um, in this demonstration. Um, and then I can go back obviously and make it uh, what I want it to be in the future. So I'm going to click to generate. And it's developing a rubric um, on the right hand side there. Okay, I don't teach ninth grade, so I'm not sure whether this is relevant or not, but I will go and test it with uh, my appropriate audience. Um, and then it says once it's done, you can copy the output and you can modify it by further kind of prompting or asking um, questions to the tool. Um, Multiple choice generator, very nice option. Okay, so it's developed the rubric and now it's developing the assessment that is linked to that rubric. And we've got a chatbot assistant here. And voila. Okay, so it's going to start giving me access to the thing now. Okay, one of the tools I'm really interested in is this rubric generator, because this is something that takes us a lot of time to create as educators. Um, but I feel with generative AI, it can really um, you know, speed up the process. So let's see what it looks like. Um, and I just started filling this out quickly to save time on the video. Um, but as mentioned, you know, you can choose your level uh, of, of learner. Um, I put in a quick objective there. So there's an action verb, there's what they need to do, and um, there's the level of proficiency. Um, there's the assignment title. And I just, again, quickly type this out. You're required to create an educational video. Um, so it's in a creative assessment. Um, and it's an authentic assessment for my learners who are already educators. Um, and I want them to introduce their learners to a topic in their field and they will be graded on um, how tight that script is. Again, this is something else that AI can help with. Um, the delivery of that script, the accuracy of the content, um, the mastery of the tool used and overall quality of the final video. I would like a five point scale. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it's taken the points that I mentioned here. So I guess this description has to be um, pretty focused in the video and it's given me a rubric there. Um, let's see what it's at, five points at the top. Okay, so just looking over this very quickly, it looks to be a very good starting point um, for a useful rubric that I could maybe tweak and adjust. Um, but the point is, um, it's, it's a very good first step and it's, it would save me a whole lot of time just to download that um, and you know revise it a little bit and make it a bit, a little bit um, more contextually relevant for my learners. Um, but I think it's a fantastic start. So go and check that one out.
Okay, so let's take a look at the YouTube Video Summarizer tool. This is a useful tool, I think, especially when you're developing blended learning, where you're offering video content in a learning management system, for example, and you want a summary of that video um, content in text format. So you're offering multiple modalities of the same information. So let's say we want one um, paragraph of um, a video and I'm going to choose um, one of my most popular videos what is constructive alignment so I'll copy the uh, URL and I'm going to paste it in here so what is the summary of this video let's see okay so this looks like a good accurate summary of the video and down here I've got the option of changing the text length, making it shorter. I can ask the AI assistant further questions. Maybe there's something I don't understand. I can ask the AI assistant to clarify and I can create questions from this also. So I, I can quickly create a multiple choice or free response and I can translate into different languages, which is a really cool feature, I think. So let's see about the multiple choice questions. What are the three independent elements of constructive alignment? Very good. Why is it important to clearly define intended learning outcomes? Okay, this is nice. Um, so these look like all very relevant, good questions. Okay, so that's a video summarizer tool within Magic AI. It looks like a fantastic tool to me to immediately add multiple modalities within your teaching content and increase the accessibility of your content also, so go and check it out. Okay, so let's look at the YouTube Video Question Generator tool. Now, in the Summarizer tool we previously looked at, um, it also has a feature to generate questions. So let's see um, what this is like and if it offers more kind of options. So again, I'm gonna take the same video, copy the URL. I wanna pop the video URL into there. Um, it's happy with the transcript, it's loaded successfully. Um, for me, my level is adult learners and I've got the option here of multiple choice, free response, true or false. I'm gonna go with multiple choice because I tend to use MCQs as part of my flipped learning design. So I provide content in video format and then I follow that content up with some questions, usually at the beginning of the in-person session and I might go for five questions. So let's see what this looks like. Okay, so according to the video, what are the key components of a well-designed learning experience? Um, how are these elements? And it gives me the answer key here and also where the answer is in the video. Now, I've got the option here to translate. I've got the option to ask the assistant for further information maybe clarification. Um, I've got the option here to change the question type. So I'm gonna go for free response. What does that look like? Yep. So this would be a good, um, a good starting point for a class discussion. Again, in a flipped modality approach, they've had the video before the session. Now we're gonna open the session with these open-ended questions. So whether you use the MCQs, the multiple choice questions, or the free response open questions um, is a nice variation. Okay, so this is the YouTube video question generator tool within Magic School AI. It allows you to quickly and easily create questions based on video content. So it's a super tool to link information delivery with understanding comprehension of that information. Okay, so let's take a look at this fun one, the teacher joke generator. I'm not as funny as I would like to be, of course, so I could do a little bit of help in this area. So I'm again looking at adult learners. Um, I'm just gonna click generate, generate a joke. Okay, so let's take a look at what it created. Um, why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Why did the math book look sad? Because it had too many problems. Okay, so try it out. It might work for you. Um, it's a tough one. 
Okay, it's been said that one of the key tools in Magic School AI's offerings is this lesson plan generator to create uh, lesson plans that include objectives, assessments, and key points. So let's take a look at how it works and if it's useful for us. So for me, again, I'm going down to the adult learners. And what I want to talk about or what I want to teach in my upcoming session is um, learning theories. Okay, it's a pretty specific topic, I think, um, for education design, let's say. Okay, I'm not going to give it any context or standards and just see what it comes up with. Okay, so let's take a look at what it's developed here. Um, if I go to the top, uh, the objective of the session is that students will be able to explain and apply various learning theories for educational design. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of having um, two action verbs in the same objective, but let's give it the benefit of the doubt and we'll see the next component is the assessment. Students will be able to complete an MCQ where they will identify the learning theories being described in various scenarios. Mm. I'm not too convinced that this is well aligned to the objectives that have been set out. If the objective was to identify the learning theories in the session, then an MCQ might be an appropriate form of assessment. But it's by its own choice, it's, it's um, set out an objective to explain and apply. So what I'd be looking for um, to assess this outcome would maybe be some kind of presentation in relation to the student's own context. Um, so ex explanation around a learning theory and how it would be uh, relevant or applied in their own teaching context. So I'm feeling that I'm seeing stuff that's being produced here, but is it well aligned? Uh, I'm not convinced. Key points, um, different learning theories. Okay, so it's identified different learning theories. Okay, the structure of the key points looks okay. Um, okay, the opening of the session, um, introduction of new materials, guided practice. Okay. Homework. Okay. Now, the standards addressed... I'm not familiar with those standards, but uh, that I'd have to do some further um, research into those standards to see if they're relevant. So what it's done here is created an outline very quickly. Um, I'm a big proponent of constructive alignment, meaning that our outcomes are very explicitly linked to appropriate assessment and learning content and activities. I'm not sure that this has got it right. Maybe if I'd provided more additional content and information, it might do a better job. It's worth trying it out. Again, this whole um, Magic School AI's um, approach is to lighten the load for educators. So if it's a starting point, great, but don't fully rely on the outputs. And we say that with all generative AI outputs. So take a look and let me know what you think. Okay, so we've taken a look at a number of tools in Magic School AI's offerings, and overall, I'm quite impressed. Um, if we just break it down here into the different tools that they have available, um, there's many to kind of look through, and I'm sure there's something for everybody um, in these offerings. So if we just click through, we can look at tools for communication, productivity, um, community tools and, and planning is obviously um, a key collection. Um, is it perfect? No. But is it useful? I think yes. Um, and it looks like they're developing more and more offerings um, uh, over time. So this is a very useful free resource for educators in the school setting or in the university setting. So please try it out and let me know in the comments below what you think and which tool you found most useful.